right, we're back with you answering your unemployment and your new jobs questions with Chris Rivera from Guilford Works and Will Graham from Graham Personnel Services. All right, this is a question that we've been getting quite often. Uh, if you need to work, but you're an at risk for COVID-19, what are your chances of trying to find work that is remote? Will, what have you got? Your, your chances are very good. Uh, now more than ever in the economy, remote work is becoming commonplace. So um, I would just start to Google the, the search remote from work, uh, work from home. And um, we've seen that more than, than we ever have. So there are plenty of jobs out there um, where you can work from home. Okay. And what are you finding, Chris, with Guilford Works? Yeah, I'd echo much of that. You know, as businesses, you know, look to kind of resume business as it is their new norm, remote work options are becoming more prevalent. Um, you know, we find that businesses are not necessarily uh, placing in their in their job descriptions with us, you know, this is a remote position. However, I have heard and found that businesses are much more flexible to this existing pandemic. So I think Will makes a good point. If you're specifically looking for remote work, you know, do that type of search, set those parameters, but don't discount positions that are not indicating that they're remote. If you have circumstances that could be considered, we find businesses to be very flexible right now. Yeah, because so many people found out that they could actually work from home and they didn't yeah. know that they could do that, right. right. Um, well, just to follow up, I know um, a lot of people would look at your personnel services and think temporary jobs and, oh, there's no health care, but that is actually not the case? Yes, yes, that's a big misunderstanding. Um, so we offer uh, health and medical insurance. We have a full major medical plan as well as a, a basic medical plan, depending on uh, your needs of your family, et cetera. We offer, also offer dental and life insurance, short-term disability, and we have a 401k company match. So really, really when you think of staffing firms, I, I think the, the temporary, uh, that, that temporary name gets thrown in there too much. Uh, of these 400 jobs that, that I've listed with you, Tanya, about 375 of them are what we call temp to full time, where you're, you're going to work with us for 90 days. We, we are helping our customers find the talent, and then they hire them on full time as, a, as one of their employees. It's good to know it's different than what we probably all grew up with hearing when it comes it to- It is. It is. It's, it's evolved. It really has over the last 10, 10 to 15 years. Chris, this person says, how do you apply for federal unemployment? There is a starting point. Yeah, anyone who is filing for any level of unemployment, whether it's federal or state, would need to create their profile on the DES website and begin that application process there. Right, so you have to be uh, qualified for the state benefits first. Even if you're a gig worker, you still have to go through the state website first. Correct, well, you need to submit your application via the state website. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then here's a follow-up question. What if you work at a company and you don't feel that the safety measures are being implemented? Can you choose unemployment? Um, no, that's, that's subjective. Um, you know, everyone has to feel comfortable and, you know, be willing to take that risk to go into work. But if an individual chooses not to go to work because they're not comfortable, it does not ne you know, necessarily make them eligible so you can choose not to and you can apply, but the likelihood of you being approved or deemed eligible is mm -hmm. extremely low. Mm -hmm. uh, so this person is asking, are more companies looking for part-time workers or full-time workers? Well, uh, the, the majority of the positions in the United States are full-time, so at least 32 hours or more. However, companies right now, especially over the last nine months, are being as flexible as they can to accommodate the needs of, of just all around good workers, workers who are reliable and things like that. So, so while the majority of jobs in the United States are full-time, there are plenty of part-time jobs out there. Also the gig economy, right? You know, really the gig economy has come in over the last five to 10 years and we're gonna see that reshape um, how work is done as well. Mm -hmm. And we are finding that more employers are just becoming more flexible on all kinds of things. They, they, they really are. They, they are uh, adjusting as fast as they, as they can to, to accommodate their, their workforce. Uh, so, uh, Chris, this person is saying, why is my claim still pending? There are no issues shown. And that is a very common text question that we get. Yeah, th there could be a number of reasons for that. I would say that after the Continued CARES Act passed on the 27th. Uh, there was another surge in applications, which has created a backlog. 
And so if there has been no identified issue that's showing on the actual file itself, it's simply just DES trying to quickly process through the abundance, overabundance of claims that are coming in. So uh, I go back to our early conversations in this pandemic, you have to pack a lot of patients. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, patients runs thin the longer that the unemployment goes on and all of that. We understand. We do understand. Um, okay, this is something also for you, Chris, and we have a graphic for this because this person is asking, when is the next job fair I can go to? And is it being done online? And there actually is a job fair coming up on January 28th. Yeah, so on the 28th, we're doing a virtual hiring event with a company out of High Point called Amada America. And back in 2018, they selected High Point uh, for their um, brake bending machinery. The 261,000 uh, foot campus out there, and they've committed to hiring about 200 people here locally. So uh, given that we can't congregate and do in-person hiring events, uh, we're offering a virtual engagement with the hiring employers. And so individuals can go to guildforworks.org, click on our events page, and they'll be able to see the event and register for their excellent wages, you know, in excess of $15, $16 an hour. So uh, individuals, as well mentioned earlier, manufacturing is soaring right now. This is an amazing company, state-of-the-art facility. Check out the event. Hey, and this is something too, just a quick follow-up on that. The last time we had a job fair for Amada, the point was made that you don't have to have all of the job skills, that they will do some training on the job. Absolutely. So this company, you know, like a lot of, you know, I have to point that out, a lot of companies are really just looking for, you know, decently qualified individuals that want to work with good work ethic and they're skilling people up. And Amada is no exception here. You know, they have a on-site training facility there to get them acclimated to the types of equipment and to perform the duties that they need. So, yes. Okay. All right. We're going to take another quick break. Be back for our last segment. You can continue to text your question and we'll be back in just a few moments.